What? What? You help a fella out? What is going on? Oh, it's a beggar. Aww. Come on. Hey, here. You need this I more than I do. Some Get yourself some real mm. food, huh? Listen. You have to take this. I have to take this? Ooh, oh, okay. thank you. You're so nice. I lost my money playing poker. That's why you're here, huh? Above the gunsmith. Uh, well, well, well. Hush, hush. Thank Above you. Gunsmith, huh? oh, keep that in mind. Nice little place for me to steal, along with, you know, Dutch and the other people. Thank you. You see, in this game, it actually does pay off to give money to the beggars. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Now, I'm just going through the streets minding my own business when suddenly I no longer want to mind my own business. Hey, what's good? Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? That's what? not a weird moonshine. question. You know, strong liquor, over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> Why are you touching me? Oh, I just need some. Well, if for what? You, have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Yeah. There's plenty of real booze here. But so why are you asking me? I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. A hundred gallon? Why? For what? All right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A what machine kind of machine? Love. A machine of love? Love's gonna come pretty cheap. Okay. Friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just and... You said he'll you pay, so... So that's what I have to do, talk to that guy in Rhodes, huh? Dang, I feel like this is going to be a long trip. Wait, who's preaching? Respect for the dead? Who is talking? Let, you know, I know I'm being really nosy again, but screw it. I want to know exactly who's talking. Oh, look at that. Someone's Father, getting buried. What do we say about a man who lost his way so often? Mm-hmm. He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. What? Who's this guy you're talking about? A brave man, undone by pride, doomed to a life of sin and vice. I just love how I just walked into someone's uh, funeral. But you know, I gotta put in that little respect. R E S P E C T. Let us pray for this man, oh Father, provide him mercy. Amen. Mm. Rest in peace, whoever you are. Rest in peace. Can I talk to him? Hello, Mister. I like how he just walks away. But rest in peace to this man. I don't know what happened, how he got killed. But rest in peace. I finally got into Rhodes, so I'm about to go to the post office, see if I can get some leads as to where I can get that moonshine. Because this man here is asking, he dead ass is asking a hundred gallons of moonshine. Do you know what a hundred gallons is? Because that's a mad liqueur for anyone to handle. Alright, let me see where this guy is at. Because I know for a fact, How do you do? I know he knows someone. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked How for. Do you do, sir? Uh, yes, uh, about that information. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. 
I know well, you know. You might just be in love. Bingo. Uh, I pick the right fella to speak to. Ooh, okay. All right, let me expect this document here. Let me see. Let me see. <clears throat> Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, sell, sorry, north of St. Denis or Denise, whatever. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. X. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Anyways, let me go ahead and uh, wait. I have the option to pay my bounty, but you know what? I like being a wanted man. It makes me feel wanted. Let's go ahead and get that moonshine, and we can definitely see what this scientist fella, this scientist fella has in store for his little love machine. Yo, this man wants some beef? I can give him some beef. It's read E for everyone. Hmm. Didn't think so. I killed a lot of folk to keep this. You bear back off. Back off. Alright, you are done. Oh shit! Oh damn! He really knifed me. What? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, bet. Why did I do that? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where you at? What? How are you gonna pistol whip me, ass? Some nerve. And I'm gonna loot you anyways. Thank you. Anyway, it's time for me to leave. Before someone catches me. Anyways. This man had a lot of nerve to come at me. You never been in the army, it looks like it. Like, bro, I'm over here minding my own business on my way to a mission. And you're just huffing and puffing your chest at me. Because, what, I somehow passingly took a two-second glance at you? Shut up. Pathetic. Oh, what is going on? Hey, yo, you good? Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, I'm right here. I almost ran you over, but I'm here. What's going on? Are you okay? I mean... I've been bitten by a snake. Oh. I need medicine. Here. It'll help. I ain't sucking nothing. Drink it. Yes. Yeah, I don't. I don't do that type of stuff. But medicine should help. Nah, you don't. You know what? You insist. Sure. Pay. Pay me when you can. Okay. Oh, look at that. That bit. Just that bite is crazy. Snakes, right? Woo, that guy. If it wasn't for that medicine, he would have been dead. Time to go, boy. This is why I like living in the city. I mean, just imagine having to deal with snakes. Yep. Nah, I'm good. Now, where's this shot? So, this is the spot, huh? Wait for the wagon. Okay, fine. I'll wait for the wagon, but where can I wait exactly? Or should I just, you know... Who we got here? Wait, I see something. Okay, fella. Ooh, I see something. So that's the wagon. Okay. That's close enough. Back off. Ugh, I guess I'm gonna have to kill them, huh? Let's go. One and two. I'm sorry. And then I gotta do one, and then I gotta do number two, huh? Shut the heck. Come on, man. 
Thank you. Oh, hold on. I'm not trying to... Woo! I am not trying to die. Come on, do it again. I gotta try and steal this wagon, so... Come on! Come on! Oh, man, this sucks. Where's my dead eye? There you go. There you go. There you go. Alright, I should be good, right? Right here. That took a minute. I don't like how my dead eye just runs out so fast. I gotta see what I can do to fix that. But for now, let me just loot the bodies. Because, you know, I like to give myself a nice little reward for doing this mission here. And is that exactly a hundred gallons of moonshine? Oh, I see them crates. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of moonshine. All right, this should be good for the guy with his little love machine. And since I lost my hat, let me go ahead and pick up one of theirs. Let me get, let me see, is this a good hat? Nah, I don't like this hat. Let me take the other one. Yeah, that's a nice hat. I like this one. This is a dope hat. All right. So now that I stole the wagon, I assume everything will be smooth sailing from here, right? Let's hope for the best. It was a smooth sail from here. I'm pretty happy. No one followed me. Where's Loverboy here? Wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> I had to kill a lot of people to get this. For a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell the Third. Perhaps mm -hmm. you've heard of me. <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> no, but I don't read either. Uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money. Oh, no, well, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great job. Do oh, you have a lot of money to give me? You helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness. I don't think he has the money. I killed those people for nothing. Of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. Quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. Next thing? A public one. Demonstration? Uh, do you know the police chief? Where's my money? Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, mm -hmm. could you do that? Hmm? Arthur, you're not going to ask about the money? Oh, Arthur, you, you got to be kidding me. Listen, we gave this man 100 gallons of moonshine. He hasn't even paid us. We asked him. He's evading the question. And now he wants us to do something else. Like, bitch, better have my money. Pay me what you owe me, bro. Seriously. Ooh, what the heck? What is this? Oh, did someone throw a bucket of shit at you? I've been covered in worse, man. Oh, I feel Just bad for that man. I feel so bad for that man. And you could see the shit stains on his jacket, too. You know, this is what I love about Red Dead Redemption. How immersive this game is. How random things happen while you're on your way to the missions, during the missions, and even after the missions. It definitely makes this game pretty entertaining. And yes, I would recommend you guys playing this game. You just have to at this point. Okay, the police officer should be around here somewhere. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I have to go... So welcome to our humble police house. Hey, humble? Okay. <laughs> uh, usually when you're humble, you don't tell people that you're humble. Can I go inside? Can I 
help you with something? Good yeah. Evening, yes, um... See, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Wait, you are? I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. So I have to pay you that fee? Ah. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. It'll and pay it itself it'll out. Save the condemned a whole lot of pain. It'll pay itself out too. To be seen. But I'll give you a permit for fifty. For fifty? Okay. I mean, listen, a discount's a discount. Thanks for the deal. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatch. I'll mm. tell that to the professor. Mm -mm. I just <laughs> love the humane part of this whole thing. Man, the fact that I still haven't gotten paid and I had to pay for this, man. Oh man, this this invention he has better be making gold because at this point this mission is really costing me right now. It's really costing me. I see that he manages to hide the hundred gallons of moonshine somewhere in his backyard. In fact, where is this moonshine? Hold on. What is he doing? Hello, Professor. Are you Professor drinking Bell it? The third. That's it. So, the chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable uh, subject. Yeah, person to demonstrate on. And this fellow here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Who Wilson is it? J. McDaniels, wanted for murder, bigamy, and. Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? What? Shutters. Is that? Does that mean bestiality? And help me put him out of his misery. Cause that's the interpretation I got. Oh, this man's a pig. This man is a pig. I need. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Murder, bigamy, immortal animal husbandry. Oh man! Coming together wonderfully. Of course it is, because I'm doing all the work. Duh. What is going on? What is going on? Hello. What? What? Oh, chill. Chill. No, I don't. You're an agent Get away. I the government kidding. in the free state of Lemoyne. Oh, God. Please. Please. Hold on. What? These stupid asses right here. Killing an innocent man. Killing an innocent man right here. What the heck is going on? Killing an innocent man. And for what? Well, first off, I'm going to loot the bodies, that's for sure. Since I got shot at, might as well just get compensated for it. Wow, these... These... What, Lenord boys are r running wild. And for what? So this is the guy that they were shooting? Hold on. Hold on. Is there anything... I mean, I was trying to save the guy, but you know what? I should have saved him. He would have been alive, honestly. Damn, that sucks. Oh well, next. Should I do something about this? Yeah. Your own brother? I'm a good man. <laughs> you're wasting your breath. Sounds like your brother should have smart you up when he had a chance. Please, you gotta believe me. I'm the wrong man. 
Huh. I should. Hey, look at you $2 bounty hunters. Take them down. What? As if, as if. Anyways, one, and then we got number two right here. Anyways. Anyways. Yeah, I, I know. No shit. Let me get you. Two dollar bounty hunters. Arthur is such a jokester, I swear. Alright. Okay, here you go. And then... Ooh. I didn't mean to drop you that bad. No, I'm not picking them up. Ugh. I mean, at least we know Arthur is pretty strong. He has definitely a good amount of upper body strength. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Nice suit. Jesus, thank you. They had me mixed up with my brother. So, is that it? No money, but the Valentine doctor does. Something shady going on in his shop out here. Hey, yo, thank you. Shoot. This is the second person that gave me a tip on where to oh, rob wow. and get some money. Now that is pretty interesting. Hold on, I just realized something. There's two bodies in here. I might as well go and loot them. I wonder what it would be like to really be a bounty hunter. I know they still have some today. Oh, great. A witness? Who the heck? Who the heck is trying to report this? Stupid. I'm not even going to bother chasing them down. Who cares? By the time they get the cops, I'll be long gone. Okay, obviously they're somewhere in this area. Do I have enough guns? Yes, I do. How, how am I with my items? Because I feel like this is going to be a long, long shootout. Yeah, I'm going to need a drink for this one. I'm definitely going to come in hot question is where are these guys why is there a whole bunch of them should i start shooting right away or not nah? i should right i'm here for wilson mcdank don't want anyone else what how are you gonna start shooting me when i'm questioning you ass oh man oh man I'm asking for Wilson, and already they're giving me so much grief. Pathetic. I hate these people. They're all gonna die. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Come on, Arthur. Come on. Just hang back for a bit. You're a little bit delirious right now. Let me get my items ready. There you go. Who the heck is shooting me? Come on, right here. What? Dang, man. Am I really dying or nah? Come on. Right here. How did I not kill him? Come on. There you go. Alright. Hold on. Escaping? Why is he escaping? Oh, you son of a... I should shoot his horse, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot his horse. Where he at? Right here. There you go. There you go. Ha ha! Look at him. He fell. He definitely fell. And he's running. Like the little chicken shit that he is. Come back! In fact, I like to do a little bit of chase. You know? Where he at? Where's this fool at? Right here. Right here? That- Nah, it's too long. Where my horse at? Come on. Come on! My horse is really not coming? Ugh. My horse is horrible. Fine, I guess I'll run for a little bit. 
He has a nice little head start, too. This horse is so slow. I am calling this damn animal. And yet, for some reason, this animal has yet to come and get me. Where he at? Oh, I see him. Oh, I got my eye on him. And pretty soon, he's really gonna get tired of running. Come here, you fool. Ah, shit. Come on. Come on. Right here. Dang, man. Come on. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Is my stamina really not working? Come on. There you go. Finally. Where is my horse? Damn, my horse sucks. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Holy cow, you took so long. You're so annoying. Anyways, finally. Come on. Come on. Right here. Thank you. Finally. Come here. Hey, Piggy, 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 Piggy. Hey, Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. Come here. Shut up! You're a wanted man for your murder, bigotry, and you now, fucking animals. Wow, 87 cents. Here we go. Yes, I did all this for 87 cents. Yeehaw. Whew, okay. You gave me quite a workout, too. I'm not gonna lie. And now we have a long travel to back to St. Denis. Oh, shut up, you. Anyways. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Can't raise no animals, take no wives. So you fuck them? Is that why? Raise my livestock. Married them that need a marrying. To kill any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We How are you gonna justify your actions? You came along and laid white. Oh, I came along. Oh, okay, big man. I see you talking all big, bad, and bougie, huh? You ain't going to jail either. You're gonna die, big boy. To a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You'll see. You get to be part of a great experiment. A humane experiment. You ain't gonna die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the of human knowledge. So I appreciate you. Say, you. This professor, Andrew Bell the Third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this day a professor got to do with anything? He's gonna electrocute you. New electricity chair on to kill you. You may. No. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like how he says, no. You into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. Well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'd be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Yeah, but they would. And guess what? Oh, We're going to the professor right now. Oh yeah. Husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniel? That's gonna be you, big boy. I've never seen the actual impact. I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air. The smell of burning hair. You know. Look at him with his nose. I love this. I just love- I love how- How Arthur is just casually telling this gruesome story to this man. Lot. You 
electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. I know this is gonna be a long trip for this horse. I feel bad. Let me give this horse some food. Let me give this horse some more corn. Oh, he's crying! <laughs> Arthur is so nonchalant. He is telling this crazy, gruesome story as if it's a nice little... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Please! Please! Hurry up! Hurry up, please! I ain't trying to die. And you know what? Let me get my... Right here. One, and then right here, two. There you go. There you go. And there's one more, huh? There's one more right behind me. Oh, uh, I ain't paying for shit, but okay. Let's go, right here. Boom. Got it. <laughs> He's crying. I love it. I love it. Hold on tight. He's basically tied down. What is there to hold on tight for? Oh, Arthur, you are such a jokester. This is why I love this guy, bro. He is so hilarious, so funny. Okay, we're almost here. And then once we get over there, I can't wait to see the, the light show. That's what I'm going to call it. Big old light show. Strap this man to the chair have him electrocuted like a fourth of july wait you hear that he's crying oh man well, here we are the professor will be real pleased to meet you oh, no. <laughs> why am i so so delighted in this i'm so sick i'm sorry all right let's go let's go Professor! Hey, I got him. You're oh, wonderful even the professor excited. Alright, here you go. Now where's my money? Um, Cough it up! Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Cough it up, you owe me. Once they buy my humane electric ending facility. Once? There will be money enough for you, sir. Now let's hope. Alright, let's get our... Our, um... Our poor unfortunate, ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be yeah, amazing. Yeah, I will. Mm-hmm. I bet it will be. So once they buy his machine. Oh, man, I knew there was a catch. I knew it. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.